gentlelady's uh, yields. I now recognize the gentleman from California, Mr. Swalwell. First, I want to address uh, what happened in Israel uh, just a few weeks ago and want to absolutely, in the harshest way, condemn the terrorism committed by Hamas, period. Some sentiments do not need a comma. What Hamas did was terrorism, period. And that says nothing about what the Palestinian people not affiliated with Hamas deserve. I also want to say that as Israel defends itself, which it has an absolute right to do, as a country that respects the rule of law, they also have a responsibility to protect and look out for innocent life, period. And that does not say anything about the Israelis' right to have a Jewish state. It just says we all expect that we will look out for innocent people. I also believe that at home, we have to look out for Jewish, Arab, and Muslim Americans who are unfairly being targeted as anti-Semitism and Islamophobia is on the rise. And that's something this committee can work on collectively. Also, as leaders in the Congress, we all should think about the space that must be created once the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is addressed to create a two-state solution where both the Israeli people and the Palestinian people can live in their own peace and have their own economic prosperity. And we should all strive to do that in the coming days, weeks, and months. I also want to talk about what the chairman said at the top as far as the Iranian people should be separated and distinguished from the regime. Mr. Greenway, you work for Heritage, is that correct? It is, Congressman. They're your employer. They are, Congressman. And you work there because you support their mission. I do, Congressman. And at the top, Chairman Green, who I commend for his statement, said, the freedom-loving Iranian people who are suffering under the repressive regime that we must recognize we cannot essentially paint an entire population with one brushstroke. Do you agree with that sentiment? I agree, Congressman. On October 19 of this year, the Heritage Foundation tweeted out, the Palestinian population has no interest in assimilating into American culture and governance or in expressing loyalty to America or our allies. To import a population of Palestinians would be certain suicide for Americans. Do you denounce that tweet, Mr. Greenway? I don't denounce it. I agree that there's a threat that constitutes open borders and the immigration policies without control, so, Congressman. You don't believe that casting a broad stroke and essentially associating every Palestinian with Hamas is in direct conflict with what the chairman said at the very top? I think everyone coming into the country needs to be fully screened and vetted so they don't constitute a threat, Congressman. Do you believe every Palestinian individual is affiliated with Hamas? No, I don't, Congressman. Well, then why can't you denounce the tweet? What I agree with, Congressman, is that everyone coming into the country needs to be fully screened so that we don't constitute an, un an unsatisfactory threat to the United States. On the same day, Heritage tweeted, America should not, not all capitalized, resettle Palestinians. To import a population of Palestinians would be certain suicide for Americans. Again, implying that any Palestinian who would come to America would bring violence. Do you denounce this tweet? I think anyone coming into the country needs to be fully screened and vetted, and it's the policy of the neighbors of Palestine itself not to accept additional refugees. So I don't disagree with you. I don't think anyone here disagrees that every person who comes here should be vetted. I don't support open borders. I don't know a single Democrat here who supports open borders. What I want to know is why you cannot denounce the idea that every Palestinian should be treated as if they're a member of Hamas. I think everyone comes into the country, Congress. We're not talking about border security. We're talking about the sentiment tweeted that Palestinians, every single one of them, if they came here, would be certain suicide for Americans. I think we've got an unacceptable risk of individuals crossing the country that have been screened and vetted, and it's a threat to every American congressman. Okay, assuming you screen a Palestinian who comes here, do you believe that Palestinian should be treated as a member of Hamas? I think everyone should have uh, the same applied threshold of screening and security before they enter the United States that's not currently happening. Do you know that Heritage deleted these tweets? 
Uh, if you say so, I assume they did, Congressman. Do you want to delete the sentiment that you just expressed, casting Palestinians as all being affiliated with Hamas? It's not what I said, Congressman. I said everyone coming to the United States requires screening and vetting before they are allowed entry so they don't constitute a threat. I yield back.